Okay, we're going to be looking at a video which is... I don't even know what it is. It's fucking terrible. Uh, this is uh, Maggie... I'm not even going to try to pronounce her last name. Uh, the fucking bitch from Batman. And uh, she's yapping about her daughter, who's 12, who she calls an activist. It's amazing. And you've yep. got a beautiful family. Yep. Thank you. Your husband, Peter Sarsgaard, two beautiful daughters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We talk Aww. so much on the show about yeah. what's going on in this country. Yeah. Why and did she cut her hair? They have to do with being a woman uh -huh. and things that women have faced for so many years. Yeah. Do you guys oh, what's what's that? What, what have women what have what have fucking women faced for goddamn years? Let's talk about what's going on to your girls. Uh, what's going on in this country? Just doing a little sound check in the middle of the show. That's the way I roll. But w what has happened to women for just decades and years in this country? Were you the ones that were sent off to die in war? Oh, that's right. No. Were you the ones building America? No. Were you the ones dying on the workplace? No. Are you the ones right now doing all the hard jobs that make life possible? No, you're not. Yeah, I mean, one of my daughters is 12, mm, yeah. so she's very aware of yes. what's going on. Um, and my other daughter is six, so it's different. Uh, yeah, you... Different kinds of conversations. Mm -hmm. um, my daughter, my 12-year-old, is an activist. Yeah. Oof. Oh, Jesus. Please don't make me destroy a 12-year-old. Activists are the most annoying people on the planet. I love that. She's activated. She's a feminist. Mm. She ran into somebody recently who, a little girl her age, who, um, who said she wasn't a feminist, and my daughter was astonished. <laughs> <laughs> really? She's astonished that another girl might have a different opinion. Because she may see feminism for what it is, a toxic ideology. And yes, feminism is a toxic ideology. <laughs> well, it's hard to imagine, yeah. you know, yeah. and, and, you know, she came home and cried. I lied to me about it. Oh, wow. She, wait, whoa, whoa, well, these, whoa, whoa. Let me, let me just back well, these, this up. I have a 12-year-old. Oh, wow. You know, she came home and cried to me about it. Oh, wow. You got to be fucking kidding me. You mean to sit there and you're going to get all this adulation because your 12-year-old daughter broke down in tears because someone happened to not have an opinion she agreed with. You wonder why we're getting far-left groups like Antifa and far-right groups? You wonder why the fucking political divide is what it is in this country? It's because of cunts like you, Maggie. How about you just sit your daughter down and say, well, sweetheart, she had a different opinion than you. There's no reason to cry. Also, you could explain to me and everyone else how the fuck you're disadvantaged as a woman. Oh. Well, these, the, I have a 12-year-old also, and they're oh, just yeah. so plugged in and connected yes. in, in ways. No, they're not. I was 12 once. I didn't give a sautéed rat's ass about the world. And this video is fucking over. I, I'm sorry. Give me a fuck damn break. Your daughter cried because somebody didn't have an opinion she agreed with. Okay, then I'll ask your 12-year-old 12 12 daughter the same question I've asked every feminist on the planet. What rights do you have, do you, do I as a man have that you as a woman do not enjoy? The answer is you won't find any. We are equal. Every fucking time they bring up a stat, it's a lie. Wage gap, lie. Rape culture, myth. One in five, one in four, one in three. Total bullshit. So I'm sorry. But, yeah, maybe not. Maybe just not your indoctrinate your daughter with a religious cult mentality. And that's what feminism is at this point. It's just a cult.